good morning. Um, so I was debating doing this video again. It's insomnia, so I'm just gonna get right into it. I got both of the spooky sparkle, lol, um, <laughs> lol dolls. So, um, I'd been wanting these, and then they're the limited edition Halloween dolls. I was at Target. I was there for other things. I was taking advantage of the sale. I did a price match from Amazon for the super surprise, because Amazon has it for 98 and then Target had it 25% off, so I did save a lot. Um, and then with these, I had been wanting them. They're really hard to find in person, and, um... People, when they do find them, are buying them and selling them for like 25 each. And they're actually retail for $9.99. About $10. Um, so the... I do not know their names right now. But um, the witch has like moons and spider webs, little orange stars. Then we have a kind of sugar skull day of the dead girl who has just some flowers. So, and the uh, zipper looks like a pumpkin pole. Okay, so let's open the little witch first. So I was like, I don't even know if these are worth opening on camera just because sometimes the LOLs just, I feel a little anti Oh, that's cute. Okay, so let's read the clue. Um, we have lollipop and corn. I'm actually going to try and guess this one. Sucker ear. I don't know. Candy corn. Had I not... Okay. So, I'm an idiot. So, second layer looks pretty much the same. It just says LOL Spooky Sparkle. Not much the same, just pretty same thing. And then we have the same pull. And then we're just going to pull on this. Fun. So yes, I did end up getting a super surprise. Um, and that was all I was going to get. But I had to pick up the spooky sparkles. Okay, so it's actually a pumpkin. And this is a hilarious little face. Look, it's got the two little teeth. It's got... These big kind of, kind of creepy vacant eyes, but cute. It's really cutesy. And then it says a little surprise in the back. I really like this one. Let's pop it open. And it looks, this just feels like Halloween with, after trick-or-treating with all of the candies, stuffing your, your, um, your pumpkin, your little basket. So let's just pop all this stuff out. So there are one, two, three, it said seven surprises, so four, five, six, and okay, there is a sticker, Witchy Baby, Witchy Baby, there's like extra A's, oh, if it'll focus. I like that. Um, and then we have this break. Oh my god. Okay. 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 So it did not break. It just comes in two pieces so it can fit. That's fine. I can I can accept that. <laughs> oh man. So um okay. Okay. So you can actually turn it into a little trick-or-treat basket. That's very cute. Okay. This is so worth it. So we're just going to open one of the little... Oh, there are seven bags. Okay, let's open one of the little ones. Okay, we have her little cape. And then we have... Um, Oh man, her her drink is crushed. 
Hey, it's um that that it was all folded in there. Um, that's okay. It's very cute. I really like this one with the pearls. It's the boba. No, hang on. I really hope this uh reinflates. Okay, so that was very stuffful, as you guys could see. Yeah, it's not wanting to stay full. <gasps> wow. Okay, so she has a little trick-or-treat basket. It's very sparkly. Then we have this, which is her shoes. <gasps> These are so cute. I would actually... Oh, my God. Okay, it fell into my shoe. Um, so they're little platforms with suns and, I mean, that suns, stars and moons and little sparkles. Okay, next item is, oh, I didn't mean to open the door next. Okay, so she has a very cute outfit. Um, oh my god, she is so cute. So she's got white glitter hair, just stark white. She's got little gold barrettes. She's got gray eyes with glitter. She's got a little kind of, this is a little leotard with the same stars and moons, little gloves, fishnets, and little gold stripes, gold and black striped socks. And then, what's next? We still need more for clothing. Okay. So here is her um, top. Glittery as well. And her little don't be torn shorts. And then we have finally her hat, which is actually it's plastic, but it's a kind of bendy and a rubber, slightly vinyl-y, rubbery plastic, and it actually has a weight to it. Not a strong weight, but for um, one of these dolls, it's actually pretty decent. See, I've never gotten one of the limited edition ones before. Um, I mean, well, they're all limited edition to some degree, but you know the special edition ones? I wanted to get the uh, Frontline Hero, but then I found out that the mask was just a sticker, and that it falls off really easily. And that was going to bother me. I just knew it was. Um, so I held off on that one. Now I'm kind of wondering if I should have gotten her. You know, but hindsight is twenty twenty, And this is not the year for that. This is not the year for saying hindsight is twenty twenty. Okay, so she is so... Oh, this is a skirt. Okay, I knew that. Is it a skirt, actually? What the? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is a skirt. How do I... Okay, so let me take off the pants. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, it has to go around her, so I gotta take off the bottoms. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I was like, that kind of looks like a skirt, but it's open in the front, so it can't be. Because LOL can sometimes be a little risky with their outfits. I think they're adorable, and I think that they're really cute. Um, I'm not going to get into it right now, I just am not. <laughs> But they are they can have some outfits that I'm like, okay, yeah, that is kind of a a different sort of get up. I, as a twenty three year old, wouldn't really wanna wear that. Not that it's like people shouldn't, but just my personal preference. So it's just like they're just cute little dolls. So yeah, I'm gonna stop getting into it. But if you're watching this, you're probably okay with that. I never do the water surprises because I got um what is Preppy? Is that his name? The, um, Posh? No. The little, um, Uptown's little brother. Like the boy. The pink-haired boy in that set. I put him in the water and it caused him... No, he had a mark on him already. It wasn't him. It was, um, 
baby Prim, who, um, uh, Lil Prim, I can't even remember their names, who, um, suddenly turned gray and has just never stopped being gray. So I don't want to put any more in the water. <laughs> um, I think she has a gray tint to her skin now. Okay, so this is kind of something that just, you just kind of make go on. Okay, so here we go. Um, and it comes with the little trick-or-treat basket and, of course, the crushed boba, which, by the way, has a glittery lid. So we're just going to put that in our hand and hopefully it'll reinflate. And her sleeve is preventing her. Okay, so... Things are a little bit bulky. There's a lot of pieces to this. Um, personally, I think it would be um, easy to lose the drink and the trick-or-treat because she has a hard time holding them and she can't really hold both at the same time. I mean, you could have her hold both, but I don't really know. This is like as big as your head. Okay. So let's put her in the little uh, basket. Um, let's open up the next one. So we already... Oh, and then the barcode looks like a candy. Candy corn. Why did I not... Why could I not figure that out? Like, sucker. You know, like, some people call them suckers. And I was like... I thought it was kind of trying to be, like, sassy, like, calling me a sucker. And then I was like, well, maybe it's talking about ears. But it just ended up sounding really weird. I feel bad. This one is Cry Film. Cover Your Eyes Film, okay. It is Scary Movie. Okay. So... Same kind of deal with this one as the other one with the, uh, now I'm a veteran with the little cute pumpkins. You're not going to distract me this time with the fact that this is literally impossible to open. So I was at work, like I do a lot, most days, and, um, my coworker who has a seven month old was talking about how she was going to a friend's daughter's birthday party and I guess the little girl was turning three or four and she wanted to get her an lol doll she's like but they're a hundred dollars I'm like are you talking about the I'm like no I said that's just the package and she's like what do you mean I'm like isn't that the series one re-release she's like I'm like and then we didn't discuss it I, I mean it was, it was. yes I know how much lol dolls cost um, so her name is, <laughs> I'm dropping that, Bebe Bonita, Bebe, Bebe Bonita, okay, those are both very cute stickers, so I don't know if I'm going to be opening the super surprise on camera just because they are so time consuming, I don't think anyone wants to watch me for that long, I wouldn't be able to film it well, but if you guys are, like, really want to see that, which I don't think anyone does, but if you do, go ahead and comment, and maybe I'll just do it live, and just chat with my mom. What is in here? It's not the doll. <gasps> Whoa, that's cool. Okay, so we have... Her little trick-or-treat basket. That's a huge piece. Okay, and here we have her drink, which is only a little crushed. So, little heart lock, padlock with wings and fire. Okay. Oh my gosh. So, I am really was really more excited about The Witch. But, I think I really like this one. A lot. 
Okay. Oh my god, these are so cute. I'm like, I would like like to own both of these shoes. So they're just glittery red combat boots with l black laces. And it looks like, um, it's, um, it's like a little scalloped lace edge. And, probably here's a flower crown. This is a really nice piece. The pieces in this set actually feel decently, decent high quality, especially for an LOL, for the price point. Okay, yeah, she is very, okay. So, she has the cute little undercut. She's got the purple glitter with the bun on top. And then, of course, the sugar skull makeup is not very... I'm not going to say it's not dramatic because it is, but it's very, um, it's not as detailed as I know a lot of people do theirs as, um, but still pretty cute. Um, I think that this is set is, and what I, what I like about both of these dolls is that they are about the same skin tone, which fits with, um, kind of a Latina skin tone. So that's pretty cool. I think that this set will be a great introduction to a lot of kids regarding Dia de los Muertos. Um, Day of the Dead. Probably did not say that right. Um, I try. I try Dia de los Muertos. Yeah. Um, anyway, I think it'll be a great opportunity for to open a lot of discussions. It's not Halloween. It's something totally... Oh, wow. She's got a little heart cut out. On the back of her. Okay. Um, that's just a crazy detail they did not have to add. I think it'll be something that really opens that discussion for a lot of people. Um, you know, it's just it's a really, really sacred big deal in Mexico. And um, so, really glad that they did something that wasn't like... Like, some people try to do sugar... I mean, it's LOL, so they wouldn't make it scary. But, like, some people try and do sugar skull. And it's really just kind of like... The shoes are kind of like they're big on both dolls. They don't just stay in one place. But I think that this will be a great opportunity to open that discussion. I think it'll be a great way to, you know, for a corporation to actually do something that's you know, respectful of this other culture, which are our neighbors, and if you're like me, and you live in a state that used to be Mexico, is literally part of your state's history, um, California, so they do not come with anything for their mouths. Um, I know a lot of dolls come with little accessories for their mouths. These do not. That's fine. Um, I'm just really hoping that her boba reinflates. <laughs> it's just really sad. It's sad looking. If it doesn't reinflate in a few days, I, I don't want to take her back to Target for this. I'm not that person. Like, I felt so awkward getting saving over $50 on the Super Surprise. <laughs> Uh, so it's one thirty, and what was crazy was that's before tax. And then when everything was rung up, well, when that was rung up, it was seventy nine and change. So I really recommend you do that if you have the Target Circle app. You can get twenty five percent off an item. So go up there, get your um price match it to the ninety eight dollars on Amazon. Just have the website ready to go and then bring up the circle save the offer which is what i didn't di do but seriously it is was really really cool and um i kept apologizing to the guy behind me in line he was like um no it's okay and then when i left he's like congratulations on saving so much money <laughs> I go to that Target all the time and buy dolls, and she, by the way, has a little star and black lipstick. And then this one has little kind of berryish, reddish, pinkish lipstick. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll 
two of you. I'm being optimistic because I know there may be someone who's not my mother. Um, <laughs> anyway, if you watch this far, just I recommend these dolls. I think that the fact that people are buying them and selling them for like twenty five dollars, like forty five for both, is a lot. It's they're not like. I'd say that if you find one for 15 though, honestly, my recommendation would be to get her, just because these dolls will probably be expensive later on, but you'll always find the deal, so honestly, don't, don't pay more than like 12 or 13, I would just, that's just my personal recommendation, but I think that, so like scalping is such an interesting concept in the toy because it's like one why do people do that like when I found these they were just randomly um in like among the other lols and then I found um another set of two they, they were right next to each other and then a shelf below were another two randomly thrown in with the remix fan club re-release of the little sisters and these were up with the boys and I was like, where's the source? So I kept looking for the source. There was no source. Um, so I don't know where. I, I could not find it. I wanted to, like, take a picture. And um, the thing was is I just was like, hey, if anyone is in the area, here's this option. Or, you know, if somebody wanted to pay for shipping and really needed them, maybe I could have gotten them and been that middleman kind of thing. I mean, I do understand that it was shipping and supplies, and yeah, it's okay to make a few extra dollars, but when something is still available and you're buying it up and selling it for above retail because it's limited, it just kind of seems a little not cool to me. Like, you gotta make your money, you gotta, um... Do your hustle, all of that, that's totally fine. But it's just when people go to the store and see all these dolls and they just buy them. Or the scalpers with the Monster High release. like, And with Living Dead dolls when they were still releasing the new original characters, not their just their copy ones. Um, it was like, sorry, I was checking out the hair dye stains on my wrist. Um, it was... It was frustrating because it's like they would release dolls in waves like throughout the day every few hours they'd release a handful and it would be different because they wanted the people to be sitting there because they knew collectors would but you couldn't always do it and I tried to get many different dolls and didn't really succeed there was one that even my mom and I had a fight that day but um she wasn't even really that supportive of my living... She was supportive of my living dead dolls and that she let me get them. But... Um, and didn't really say anything. She didn't like them. She wasn't a fan. She... There was a couple she liked. Um, and she was supportive in the... I shouldn't say she wasn't supportive. She was supportive in the way in that she'd be like, Oh, you know, she'd let me show them to her and she'd make some sort of comment... Like, oh, I like that one's, um, pants, or, you know, and she'd let me talk to her about them, and I probably talked way too much, and I'm sorry, Mom. Um, but yeah, it was really, really, um, fun, because she was on there trying to win it for me. This was the Resurrection Valpurgis, which I did end up getting about five months later, secondhand, still sealed for, like, only $10 above retail. I was like, yes, but, um, yeah, that, that one was really cool. She told me she'd been trying as well to win one for me at work. Oh, well, so my take on the whole scalping thing is, it's just, like, if you're, if you're buying them and selling them for a few dollars above retail, because it's like, if the doll is like $30 and you're like, okay, well, I'm in charge 40 and then I want you to pay for shipping. It's like, with an in-demand holiday toy, that to me is... 
I think that those toys are just kind of self-fulfilling prophecies every year, but it's the people who buy a $50 doll and are like, okay, $500, and then people buy it because they think they won't have another way to get the doll. And they're like, the people who list them before they even have the dolls in their hand, the people who are using bots and other things to get as many dolls as possible, it's like... It just bothers me when it's that day. It's like if you bought your doll, you bought one to keep in the box, and you bought one or two to kind of store and let appreciate and value. And then, say, a couple years down the line, the doll's going for 400 and you're like, okay, 300 or 350 because you aren't bothered about it. Somebody gets a deal. What What is the deal at that point? You know, that, to me, is different. Like, Don't like say, like, oh, you have to sell it for retail all the time. But at the same time, I should end this video because I'm just rambling. But yeah, retail, definitely kind of a... Yeah, just don't scalp. It's kind of not a nice thing to do. Um, what is... Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. You have a wonderful day. And um, just keep enjoying your dolls and enjoying what you can do this year, as limited as it is. And have a happy Halloween. Bye.